Hi everyone. This video is a time lapse showing the retopology process for my Centaur character model. I had already texture painted and added hair and rigging to this model, so I'm going a little out of order here. But the model needed some improvements, especially in the feet, which I did before filming this. And this just shows the final touch, which is correcting the mesh with the retopology process. This video is the next video in my Centaur character series. So if you haven't seen the rest of them, go check those out. It'll make a lot more sense. On the screen here, you can see I've entered Retopo Flow, which is a paid add-on for Blender. I like using Retopo Flow because the tools are a lot simpler and uh, it just saves me a lot of time versus doing this whole process in just Blender's user interface. Everything you're seeing me do can be done in Blender without any paid add-ons, which is um, worth noting. But I find the tools so much faster and more convenient that it was worth buying to me. So in this part of the video, I'm just showing basically finishing the low-hanging fruit parts of the retopology process. You want to you want to block in the big easy simple early uh, areas like the belly and um, arms and torsos anything that's a tube basically you can do really fast and here you can see the legs the legs are pretty simple just to draw loops around and again like this loop tool is a retopo flow tool it's one of my favorite ones it's just so easy to use So you can see I'm doing a lot of a lot of uh, big blocky rectangular areas and then any extra detailed spots I come back to later or um, usually I work right up to those areas and then kind of come fill in the gaps more toward the end. And as you can see all of the all of the polygons on the mesh are four-sided um, you you get a lot better result using quads or four-sided planes for retopo i do have a couple triangles that um, it just wasn't worth the effort to hide them they're usually in hidden spots and then i noticed after this video i have a couple areas with some n-gons which are five-sided or more uh, planes and for whatever reason I didn't catch them while I was doing this so we'll see if those cause any problems or not since the the body and a lot of the the head and stuff will have hair particles and hair paint you probably won't be able to see that stuff anyway so Some of these you can see I slow down a little bit relatively. If you're filling in big patches of area when you're retopologizing, I find that it's best to make the outside edge or the like the border of the area as smooth and um, aligned basically to the direction that the flow of the model goes. And doing that just makes the filling in the area a lot smoother because you don't have to correct the lines basically of where the topology goes if the borders are set up so that they would they would fill in nice and clean so here I show finishing the back leg same way as the front leg or the arms Pretty straightforward and then the bottom is just filled in with quads as needed so here I'm setting up the loop to start the area of um, the back the back leg the thigh area there and this is a good example of trying to get it set up nice and clean before you fill in the area 
So when you can use tools like that and just fill in a whole bunch at a time, it's a lot easier to not have stuff out of alignment. Same thing here, get a fairly nice uniform curve. It makes it look a lot cleaner when you patch it in. So there's a few areas in here that the techniques I'm using are probably not uh, the best way to do it, but I have not had any issues with retopology causing problems yet. So I think the biggest key to retopologizing is that you're, you're reducing the number of points and uh, weird directions basically that happen. So when you, when you rig and animate, um, the flow of the model will follow the, the way that the character bends now. And I used to think that before, before retopologizing, you have so many points, so many details, you could bend the model however you want and you wouldn't be able to see them, but it's kind of the opposite. It actually makes like a, like a sawtooth shape when you, when you go to animate a model with really bad topology or with way too many tiny, tiny planes on it. And so at very least when you do all of this, you end up fixing a lot of the, the sawtooth look and all the tearing that happens with bad Tobo. So here you can see kind of patching in details on the nose. Once you get up inside something like the nose area where nobody's really going to be able to see in there, that's where you can hide triangles if you have to. Sometimes that happens because it's difficult to run the loops all the way out to an edge. So uh, it's easier just to terminate the lines with the, with the triangle instead of basically backtracking all the way to the edge or the center of the model where it's um, copied from because I don't want to go back and add a bunch of lines and, and have to replace a bunch of topology now that I've done so much of it. Also one other note, I didn't show retopologizing the inside of the mouth. It's a it's a fairly painful process to even do just because of visibility and um, you're better off trying to hide parts of the head and parts of the jaw and whatnot to work on certain areas at a time so that you can kind of avoid having to look through the mesh to do it. But the footage I had of recording it was definitely not going to be clear to see on YouTube so I just omitted it but the entire mouth is retopologized in the same way that everything else is on here. Okay, yep, doing fingers. They're just like legs or arms. They're fairly simple once you get the, um, the base of the fingers done because they're just loops. Okay, so here's showing the entire retopologized model. And I'll duplicate it I'll show, so this is just shading it flat so you can see the planes. And then I'll shade it smooth again. And I'll show the original, which is on the right. And the new one is on the left. You can see just how many more points there are in the original. And they're not organized in any sort of way. So when that model bends, it gets all, all messed up. And this new one should be a lot easier to work with. And should be a lot easier for the computer to run as well. That'll do it for this one. Thanks for watching. Hit all those YouTube buttons if you feel like it. Uh, now that this is done, I can get back to some animating, so we'll uh, be able to show some of that soon. Thanks.